You finally graduated, so congratulations. But now what? How do you really get a job out of high school or college? Well, Shanna Landolt is here to give us some help. Welcome to the show. Thanks, Gene. Great to be here. Well, I guess the first question is really, you're going out into the workplace, no experience. So what's your best advice? Well, the first thing is just to remember that everybody at some point didn't have a job. Right. So every single person who's working today was in your shoes at one point. Mm -hmm. And everybody got their first job. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of the things that you want to remember is the best place to start is your own network. So let's say if you're graduating from high school, uh, reach out to other high school students if they're mm -hmm. working and ask if their employer has any positions available because they can vouch for you. Right. But then also reach out to your parents and see if they'll post on their social media networks. So they could put on their Facebook, they could put on their LinkedIn, mm -hmm. that you're looking for work to see if any of their connections have something for you. And I imagine that a lot of potential employers know that if you're coming right out of college or high school, you're not going to have that practical experience. Well, it's interesting. High school, yes. College, though, a lot of students will be interns during the summertime. Okay. So if you intern while you're in college, you have a competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. it's, it's really worth it, even if you're not getting paid or you're getting paid just a little bit of money. Yeah, I guess a lot of people expect that if they're in college or an internship, they get money. But <laughs> it's better just to have the practical experience, even if you're not getting paid. That's right. Because the practical experience that you have will help you land your first professional job when you're done college. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, we, you know, you have to start with a resume. Mm -hmm. What are some things that people need to put on their resume to have better chances of getting that job? Well, let's imagine, Gene, that you're in high school and you have no work experience at all. Mm -hmm. So some of the things that you could put, you could have a section where you put your values. Oh, okay. If you volunteered while you're in high school, you can put the groups that you volunteered with. If you're somebody who's done really well in school, you could actually put your GPA and the clubs that you belong to. Mm -hmm. So essentially what an employer is looking for is a sense of your personal personality and really what they're looking for is do you have charisma do you have energy are you mm -hmm. reliable will you show up and there's a lot of ways to paint that picture in a one-page resume and I'm wondering too about associations or groups because you don't necessarily have to be in the professional world yet to be part of a professional group right that's right so you could be a part of an association or group uh, you could be a part of volunteering for example for a not-for-profit organization mm -hmm. and that experience because uh, it will have required you to be at meetings or to participate at events you can actually have that on your resume when you're still in high school and I guess one of the other questions is you know once you get that interview then how how do you prepare? I mean, this is the first time any of these people are going to an interview. So right. what is your best tip there? Go to the cloud. So go to the cloud. Go to the cloud. That's my, my first bit of advice. So if you're um, interviewing for an internship, for example, mm -hmm. go and Google uh, questions for a new intern or interview. Mm -hmm. Or if you're in high school, um, you, can, you can Google, say, you're looking for a, a waitressing job or a waitering job, and you can say, you know, what are the interview questions that someone would ask for a waitering job? Mm -hmm. And you will find everything that you need on Google. Now, there's, there's some things that you'd want to look at, like, tell me about yourself. That's, right. You're going to get asked that every single time. Or what are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? Mm -hmm. uh, or, you know, what do people think about you? Those are very common questions. So think of the most common questions and then come up with little stories or little vignettes that paint that picture about who you are. And how important is it to know about the company you're applying for? And how much information should you know? Okay, you should know a lot about the company that you're working for. And you should know a lot about the people that you're interviewing with. So for example, um, go on LinkedIn, look up that person's profile, Google them, see what mm. comes up. Because there'll be things like, if let's say they ran a marathon or a half marathon on or we're participating in sports, you'll see that and you'll be able to bring it up in conversation in your interview. And have a real connection, which I think is important. Absolutely. People hire people that they like, Gene. Mm. So if you can find some sort of small talk to be able to bridge a conversation or an interview, um, that will give you a competitive advantage. Yeah, get that leg up, right? Mm -hmm. So where can people go for more information? For more information, they can go to linkedinsidersecrets.com. All right. Well, thank you very much for being here today. Great. Thanks, Gene.